Today's reading is The Drum. I find this book very fitting for today's um, lesson or today's reading because right now you've been seeing the hashtag called um, Alone Together. Well, this book talks about a young boy who goes through his village. He's alone, but he's going through his village and he's talking and meeting different people. And as he's talking and meeting with these different people, I want you to pay attention to the lesson that he's learning. And I want you to pay attention to, I want you to think about why it is important to be kind. Also, how is the boy the same as the people that he helps? And how is he different? So again, the story is called The Drum. It is an Indian folk tale, which means it has been passed on from generation to generation about um some type of lesson that is being learned and it is written by or retold by Catherine Follett illustrated by Teresa Martinez once there was a poor boy who lived with his mother in India one day mother asked the boy would you like something from the market? More than anything else, I want a drum, the boy said. Mother sold some grain at the market, but there still was not enough money for a drum. Instead, mother gave the boy a sturdy stick she had found. The boy decided not to be disappointed. Thank you, he said. He tapped, slapped, and banged on everything with his new stick. As he went tapping along, he saw his neighbor struggling to light her stove. Use my stick to help your stove, he said, to heat your stove, he said. The woman thanked the boy. When the stove got hot, she baked him a soft roti or roti. The boy was about to eat his roti when he heard a hungry baby crying. The baby's mother had no food. You need this roti more than I do, the boy said. The woman fed the bread to her baby. Take this as thanks, she said, handing the boy a large metal jug. What a gift, the boy tapped, slapped, and banged the jug as if it were a drum. He almost didn't hear the old man groaning from a nearby ditch. Water, the man cried. The boy ran to the well and filled his jug. The man drank. I am a traitor, but robbers stole my goods, the man said. Two frightened horses stood by the trees. The boy held out the jug for them. They drank and became calm. You can have my jug to trade, the boy offered. For your kindness, take one of my horses, said the traitor. What a rich gift, the boy said. He climbed on the horse and rode down the street. He passed a group of men sitting under a fig tree. They looked miserable. What's the matter, asked the boy. One young man said, I'm going to my wedding where this band will play, but if I show up on foot, my bride will laugh at me. The boy hopped off the horse and handed him the reins. You need this horse more than I do, he said. The musicians leaped up and sang. Thank you for being so kind, said one of the mu musicians. He handed the boy a beautiful drum. The boy shouted with joy. He tapped, slapped, and banged his new drum. When he got home, the boy told his mother the whole story.
When you are kind, your good deeds come back to you, mother said. It was a lesson the boy never forgot. The end. I want you to think about if you were the boy, what would you have done if you wanted the new drum? Would you follow in his same footsteps? Think about you being around your family and your friends in this time. And there's things that you want and things that you need, but when we're working together and we're showing kindness, we're more oftentimes able to get those things than we are when we're mean or disrespectful or unkind to others. So I want you to think about this lesson as we're in this time of need and as you are um, hanging out with your families and your friends, think about ways you can show kindness. And that's all for now, guys. Thank you for listening.